welcome back to my channel. So I want to talk about this last episode of Mama June Road to Redemption. Before I get to that, there are a few interesting things I've learned lately. One, Pumpkin and Alana said that they were not invited to June and Justin's wedding when they got married in the courthouse a few months ago. And two, so a lot of speculation has been going around on social media that June is not paying her child support for Alana that she was ordered to pay. Starting in June, she was ordered to pay $800 a month to Pumpkin. And someone actually asked Pumpkin this in a TikTok live the other day. And Pumpkin did confirm that June is paying her monthly child support. And someone asked Justin the same question when he was live with June the other day. And he said, yes, June is paying her child support, but he said it's it's really none of y'all's business and come to find out Justin has children of his own and he was arrested back in March for owing over $10,000 in child support and that's kind of like old news because he was arrested back in March but it's news to me so I just wanted to share that with you guys I had no idea that Justin had children of his own because he hasn't talked about it so far but let's talk about this last episode so June was telling Pumpkin about her latest boo, Justin, and Pumpkin asked June how she met her new boyfriend, and she says that she met Justin at the rehab. But according to Jordan, which was her boy toy that she was messing with before Justin, that she bought the cars and house for, only to him to get engaged to another girl a few days later, he claims Justin used to be a close friend of his, and June actually started messaging with him after she saw him in one of Jordan's TikToks with him. So, according to Jordan, June met Justin through TikTok, not through rehab like she claims. And so Pumpkin and Jessica popped in on Mama June at her new place. And Pumpkin wasn't surprised whatsoever to find out that not only is Justin another former drug user, but he's also a convict as well. And June said she's trying to change things around and fix things. So that's why she decided to move down the street from the girls. But I think she's trying to do too little, too late. She thought Jessica would want to just pack up and move in with her because she has a four bedroom house but jessica said she would rather sleep on pumpkin's couch any day over living with june especially with the fact that she's just living with some random man that J jessica doesn't even know and then june really set pumpkin off when she brought up the idea of alana possibly moving in with her and june doesn't understand why alana wouldn't want to move in with her now that she's so close and sober and june said she's still alana's mama at the end of the day and she can take alana whenever she wants so june's idea of trying to build her family back together is trying to have this big trip to las vegas and attempt to introduce them to justin to spend time with him so they can realize he isn't that bad of a guy and I do have to give Justin credit because he did give June some wise advice and told her that she needed to work on her relationship with the girls and repair that before she tries to bring anyone else into the picture. And that's facts. Like, it shouldn't be all about them approving a Justin at first. It should be rebuilding that broken bond because screw the girls getting to know Justin right now. They need time to get to know their mama again because right now she's like a stranger. And even Alana said that at her sweet week 16 she doesn't even know her mom or what to talk about with her mom anymore because it's so awkward because when she got back on drugs that was her main focus and then even when she got sober her main focus shifted from drugs to all these random men so right now alana and pumpkin and jessica and the family feel like they don't even know who june is so they need to worry about fixing that bond first before she worries about trying to get them to accept justin and justin doesn't want no problems and after he saw how the girls reacted to him he wants to make sure june fixes that resentment that pumpkin and the family holds towards her first because otherwise they're just gonna also project that resentment towards him as well and then they showed a side by side of Justin and Sugar Bear and oh my goodness they look so much alike from the no teeth the eyes and the facial structure the jawline everything even down to the t-shirts and like Sugar Bear is 15 years older than Justin so technically he could be Justin's dad but I know he ain't it's just crazy how much they look alike June definitely has a type for sure 
So with all this talk from June about trying to get Alana to move back in with her, Pumpkin decided it was time to find the custody papers of Alana in case June tries to surprise her and get custody of Alana. So Pumpkin wants to make sure she's prepared. Unfortunately, she lost the paperwork in the move and only had a picture of the temporary custody pictures. But after she printed the pictures off, she realized that they're expired, which stressed her out even more because if June was to show up today and try to take Alana, there's a chance that there wouldn't be much that Pumpkin could do about it until they go to court. So Pumpkin, Alana, and Josh all went to see a lawyer to weigh out their options and figure out how to get sole custody of Alana. And the lawyer recommended that Pumpkin and Josh file a sole custody action in private court where it'll state that they're looking for sole physical custody and sole legal custody, which means they are the ones who make the decisions on academics, health healthcare, and extracurricular activities. So the next step is to serve June and Pumpkin wanted to try to save some money and avoid a lengthy court battle by trying to just serve June herself. And the lawyer highly recommended against that saying that usually doesn't go well because they're asking for all of June's rights to be transferred to them. And most of the time when people see stuff in black and white, that ends up changing their entire perception. So then June decided to invite the girls to Las Vegas to try to rebuild their bond. Well, she actually invited the whole family, but the whole family didn't want to go. Josh made up the excuse that he had to stay back to watch the kids and watch Alana because she had finals. So Pumpkin, you would think she wouldn't want to go after everything she's been saying about June lately, but she decided it'd be the perfect opportunity to go try to have a good time and have a free trip to Vegas and then try to get her mom in a good mood so hopefully she'll sign the paperwork and Jessica decided, hey, it's a free trip to Vegas, I'm gonna go. So they all went and packed up and went out to Vegas with June. So then Pumpkin, Jessica, and June were all walking down Fremont and Pumpkin was starting to realize, man, I really miss my mom. It seems like my old mom is coming back again. She's joking around with us, making us laugh, and Pumpkin just hoping that things stay on this positive note and her mom stays in a good mood because before the end of the trip, she plans to spring on her these whole custody papers and attempt to get her to sign them, and we'll see how that goes, but spoiler alert, she ended up agreeing to something because just a few months ago, they had court and she was ordered to pay $800 a month and they got sole physical custody of Alana and her and Josh, Pumpkin and Josh, are now the ones that call all the shots for Alana, like the academics, her extracurricular activities, healthcare, and all that. So that's it for this video, guys. Let me know what you guys thought about this last episode and how do you think June's going to react when Pumpkin gets her to try to sign the paperwork. Let me know in the comments below. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and thank you so much for watching.